by Robert Schaff of Barron, Wisconsin. Entry 2851 was sixth. 2853 was eighth. Entry 2854 was seventh and won the production award. Murgold Advent Sandy Red, exhibited by Jim Janet and Ryan Cappers and Nate and Adam Goldenberg of Spring Valley, Minnesota. At two years and six months and 305 days, she produced 26,300 pounds of milk, 1,039 pounds of fat, and 815 pounds of protein. Entry 2856 placed third in the class, Scenic Edge Joyful Red, exhibited by Stephanie Aves of Poplar Grove, Illinois. Now in the ring is the Age Cow class. The first place award is presented by Hillcrest Alfalfa of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. Production award is presented by Swiss Valley Farms. Best Utter Rosette by the Cattle Connection, and the Junior Award is presented by Westway Feed Products. We're working on our final cow classes here in the Grand International Red and White Show, and at this time we'd certainly like to acknowledge those volunteers down in the show ring that helped the show run so smoothly for both the exhibitors and the judges, as well as the spectators. We'd like to thank our Red and White Breed Superintendent, Bill Langle, as well as his helpers, Mandy Sell, Barb Kaiser, Ashley Vandy Zandy, Val Vandy Zandy, Todd Halbach, Mike Snyder, Ron Scott, Nancy Seal, Kelsey Krull, Stephanie Stout, Laura Emerson, Brenda Murphy, Verlo, Verlo Dewal, and Kimberly Mucha. Let's please give these folks a big round of applause. They've certainly helped move a big show smoothly through the ring today and have done an excellent job keeping everything organized and moving forward. National Red and White Show. Our judges have completed their placings in the age cow class. I'd like to have the juniors take a step forward, be acknowledged for their efforts today. Second place junior in the class was entry 2861, Swiss Acres Morris UBID Red, exhibited by Carson Kasbergen of Rudolph, Wisconsin. Winning junior in the class was entry number 2863. Underwood Advent Jane, exhibited by Kristen King of Waddington, New York. In the open show winning the production award is entry number 2865, Vermilion Distogene Spring Red, exhibited by Kevin and Barb Zimba and JNA Westbrook of Aurora, New York. Winning the Bread and Owned Award is entry number 2857, Vanderham SS Sequoia Red, exhibited by Vanderham Dairy of Akron, Iowa. And in the open show, placing third in the class is entry number 2863, Underwood Advent Jane, exhibited by Kristen King of Waddington, New York. Second in the class is entry number 2858, Willstar RS Talent Limited Red, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. And winning the class, and also named Best Utter, is entry number 2864, KHW Regiment Apple Red, exhibited by the Apple Partners of Edgerton, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Little, your comments. Another nice class of cows in the aged cows, and, and a close placing when we get up here in this top pair. Uh, two tremendous cows. But for me, when you get in front of this cow in first, it's, a, it's all over. She's got the lengths to her, to her front end. She, she's longer up through her head and neck, and she's a little flatter in her bone all the way throughout, right down through her hocks uh, all the way throughout. She's a little flatter in her bone. And I'm giving her the advantage in length to the forwarder attachment. She's just a little longer in her forwarder than the cow falling in second. Taking nothing away, I love this cow in second. I love the rump on this cow in second. I will give her the advantage over the cow in first on her rump structure, the levelness through her to her hooks to her pins but just not the dairy quality today and the length throughout to get over the cow in first but second over third just uses the the width throughout the width up to the top of the rear udder 
to get over a really powerful cow we have in third. The third place cow, I love the powerful frame on this cow, a cow that tracks well on her feet and legs. We're giving her the advantage in strength. She's a little stronger throughout, and, I, and she's a little snugger in the rear udder than this real dairy cow we have in fourth. The fourth over fifth, just a cow a little more depth, a little more spring to her rib today, and a cow I think flexes her hocks and is just a little more comfortable moving on her hind legs than the cow we have following. And, in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the cow, just more snugness to her mammary system. She's in more snugness to all her attachments in the mammary system than the real open-ribbed cow we have following in sixth.